What up, YouTube? It's your boy, SB Mitch, back again. Back again. Back again. With another insane <laughs> unboxing. Today, I have this brand new lit bape drone that is going to get so much fire HD footage, you're going to think you're in Fortnite on your own personal glider. Remember to go down below, like this video, and subscribe to the channel, because this yeah, is it, yeah, Chief. Yeah. guys can take that seriously i think it's the funniest thing in the world and uh, yeah i'm absolutely being being a goofball in the beginning of that video so hey that's what happens on this channel some of you are used to it some of you aren't to those that are hello pals thanks for coming back i appreciate your time to those of you who aren't familiar with what's going on here that's a little bit of what's going on here, I guess. Here's my info. You can follow me on social media stuff here and then go up to my website. Well, you don't go up to the website. It's not like on the second floor. But you can go up here and there's a link to my website. It's called ransomnotesneakers.com. And there's some things on there you can either look at or buy or both. So that would be pretty neat if you could do that if you have free time, I guess, if you want. Uh... Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, today's video is a $500 hype box from Soul Steals. Soul Steals is a $20 per month membership only like website. They like restock every Sunday, six Eastern and three Pacific uh, with like shoes under market, these hype boxes, sometimes beater boxes. It's kind of worth it to sign up. So check them out at Soul Steals and soulsteals.com. This one was actually $500 plus $20 to ship it here to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for a grand total of $520. These hype boxes are a lot of fun to open. They're not really intended to make you money. That's the biggest thing. People always get these confused with beater boxes. These don't really make much money, but they're a little bit under market. So you can get things for cheaper than you would in like StockX or eBay or Grailed. But either way, stick around until the end because I'm going to break it down for you to show you how much the market value is versus how much I paid. So let's crack this thing open and see what's going on inside. Those of you who are new to the channel don't know who he is, but here's my friend Clarence. He'll let you know how much the market value on everything I pull out of this box is and what the grand total of the entire box is. So item number one, it is from Supreme. It's a size extra large black. It says overdyed hooded sweatshirt. The nice thing about this, it's got the Supreme branding on the hood. Uh, it's heavy, just like a lot of Supreme stuff, but that's what happens when you overdye things. It looks more like a, like a charcoal type color, but so item number one is an extra large overdyed hooded sweatshirt from, what is this? No, spring, summer 18. So it's a couple months ago. Next up, this is a bathing ape piece. This is size extra large. It looks like a hoodie, but doesn't look like a normal like bape shark hoodie. So that's kind of cool. Feels like a track jacket actually. All right, so this is a bape. It's got this lining or uh, piping on the sleeves like Kappa. So I think this might be a play on the brand Kappa. It's a navy color. It's extra large. Bape stuff fits small. So this is probably more like a men's large. This is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like this extra large navy bape like track jacket looking thing. This is really cool. What's next? It's a cursive writing supreme beanie in a navy blue colorway. Classic script beanie from fall winter 18. So it's brand new. Um, I mean, it's a simple supreme branded uh, beanie. They come out with a lot of beanies every year. It's simple. There's a third item out. Next up looks like a bottle cap tee from this year. Extra large bottle cap tee. This is from week one of fall, winter 18, I believe. Yeah, it's a white shirt. White is not the greatest uh, color to get because I mean, white stain, but it is brand new with the tag and it's size extra large and white. So that's cool. Next out, this is from fall, winter 17, a white extra large. Uh, it's still in the packaging. I'm not going to take it off. It says chainsaw tee. I've never actually seen this before. I don't know if you can see the design on there. Looks kind of cool. Looks pretty metal. Maybe I'll find the actual picture and put it right here so you can see what it is, but still in the packaging, so I'm not gonna open it up, uh, but it is white and extra large chainsaw tee. I don't know if it looks pretty cool from the design, but finally, last thing out, it's in a Supreme bag. It's a jersey of some sort. It's black, it's extra large. It's like Gucci colorway. This is from fall, winter 18. It's the vertical logo baseball jersey. You can see the Supreme branding on the middle. This is kind of cool. 
Yeah, Gucci colorway. It's got the Supreme branding right there on the front. Feels higher quality than a lot of the other baseball tees that I've seen. Like it's actually really heavy, so there you go. Cool, this is the last thing out. It's an extra large vertical baseball logo jersey thing. And that's the box, so let's go through it one more time for good measure. First thing out was an extra large black over dyed hooded sweatshirt. Second thing out was this really cool bape like track jacket kappa looking thing in a size extra large navy blue. Then we had a navy blue script logo beanie for, the, for your noggin and or cranial area. Then we had an extra large white bottle cap t-shirt. Then we had another extra large white t-shirt, but this is the chainsaw t-shirt. And we brought it home with a vertical logo baseball jersey in black extra large. You see what I did there? Baseball, sporfs. I made it relevant to sporfs. All brand new, all with tags, really cool. I, this, is, this is a pretty cool box. I really like that babe thing, but we gotta find out if it's gonna make us money. So let's take a minute to break it down. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how valuable it is, but it's kind of a cool box. The thing with these hype boxes is there's not a whole ton of value in them. Beater boxes are where the value is at, hype boxes are where the hype is, honestly. So these are really, really good boxes to get if you want to add some stuff to your collection. There's nothing wrong with that. Most of this stuff is gonna end up on my website, ransomnotesneakers.com, which updates every Friday at six o'clock p.m., unless I say something else otherwise. But appreciate your time. If you did enjoy this video, go down below, hit the like button, hit the dislike button if you didn't, or if you did and you just wanna be weird, that's cool too. You could subscribe to become a member of the Pal Patrol, and uh, yeah. There's other videos that are dumb and fun and weird. So if you subscribe, you can see more of that. Appreciate your time. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Until then, take care of each other. And remember, if you're not having fun doing it, find something you love doing and do that because it's the easiest way to be happy. Have a great weekend. Toodley-doo.